Hey everybody, today I want to show you a cheap and effective way of restoring your headlights. Uh, instead of going out and spending like 100 bucks on new headlights, you can actually buy a restoration kit on Amazon, and it only costs about $20, and most people actually wouldn't even be able to tell the difference. Now there are a lot of restoration kits online, but I do recommend the Meguiar's kit. Uh, the great thing about this kit is that you can do pretty much everything by hand, except for when you get to the buffing stage, when uh, it does go a little bit quicker if you have a power tool and everything is provided for you already in the box uh, except for the microfiber, the glass cleaner, and the tape. Alright, so the first step is to get the headlights prepped for the sanding stage. We want to give it a quick wash with the glass cleaner and then grab a clean towel and just wipe it off just to make sure that all the debris is off it so once we're doing the sanding part, it's not scratching the glass itself. Now that everything is dry, we can start taping the surrounding edges of our headlight with masking tape. This will be used as a protection layer for when we do the sanding stage. Um, they do recommend you do two or more layers of masking tape, but I did find out that I was able to get away with one. Uh, just because you do have a lot of control over the hand sander versus using a power tool. So unfortunately my camera fell out of focus while I was standing with the 1000 grit sandpaper, so I won't be able to show you guys that clip. But the process for sanding with the 1000 grit and the 3000 grit are very similar. Uh, just make sure throughout the whole sanding process you keep the headlight wet. Uh, another tip that will speed up the process is to clean the sanding pad once you start seeing some buildup on the sanding pad. Uh, you can just simply spray it down with some water. I spent about 7 to 10 minutes with the 1000 grit sandpaper. Uh, you'll start to see that the headlights will look even more hazy than it did before when you start sanding it down. Um, this is what you want. Uh, once you apply the buff and the clear coat, it's going to look brand new again. So once you're done with the 1000 grit sandpaper, just swap it out for the finer 3000 grit and repeat the same process to help smooth out the headlights. The next step is the buffing stage. Just attach a buffing pad that they provide for you to a power drill. Then you want to squeeze out about a quarter size of the plastic material onto your pad. Uh, thoroughly buff the headlights for about two to three minutes while spreading that material around your headlight. After that, just wipe it off with a clean microfiber to prepare for the next step. Uh, you should, at this step, you should start to see a difference in your headlights. Um, if it is needed, just you can repeat this buffing process until the lens is clear.
The last and final step is to apply the clear coat. Give the bottle a good shake and apply a decent amount onto the film spread pad that they give you. Uh, you can start from the top to bottom. Just make sure that you um, cover every part of the headlight with the clear coat. Then just wait about 5 minutes for it to dry and then you have to repeat the same process adding another layer on there. Uh, this will just help it last longer if you add another layer on there. And then after that you should be done. Uh, they say just to keep the headlights dry for about 24 hours. After 24 hours the clear coat should be fully cured and you should be able to tell a huge difference in your headlights. Especially if yours started out as bad as mine. So yeah, this process was fairly simple to do. Uh, it took me about an hour to do both the headlights. Um, I'm also going to provide a list of everything you're going to need down in the description below. And yeah, thanks for watching guys.